India and America have had a long partnership in space. The first rockets which India launched came from America. And then there was a long hiatus. Now, once again, NASA and ISRO are catching up and taking the space relationship to the next orbit. I have with me Deva Newman, who's the deputy administrator at NASA, which means the second in command at the world's foremost space agency. Dr. Dava, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Where, where are India and America headed in space? Well, we have a great relationship, as you mentioned, from 1963, for the sounding rockets, and we literally are now in a new orbit, and that's the orbit of Mars, celebrating India Space Agency's MOM, or Mars Observer, kind of look at it as a sister orbiter to MAVEN, the NASA orbiter, and then as well as our rovers that are roving around the red planet and working together to share data to really maximize the scientific benefit of all of our missions in space. What we have here is a model of Chandrayaan-1. This was a mission where India was the captain and America was a partner. And that partnership led to the successful discovery of water molecules. Now, how did America celebrate the success of water molecule finding? Well, in all of our exploring, we're looking for the search for life, another planet. So finding water on the moon, on Mars, is tremendously exciting. So what a great partnership that was. We were very glad to have the NASA instrument on Chandrayaan-1. And we're looking forward to the next mission, both for Chandrayaan-2 as well as MOM-2. Uh, on, on Mars, what is your uh, plan? Because I, I, President Barack Obama has said that he wants humans to revisit, put boots on Mars. Now, do you want, are you looking for a partnership with ISRO in the Mars missions? We sure are. We have a journey to Mars. It's NASA's journey to Mars. It starts with the International Space Station, which we've had continuous human astronauts on Mars for 15 years. We have amazing partnerships with many folks in the world. India is invited to join us to come to an experiment on the world's greatest laboratory in low Earth orbit. And then we go to Moon. We go to Earth-Moon orbit. We call that cis-lunar space. And for the next Chandrayaan-2 mission, I believe you might have a lander. That's incredibly important. You'll be landing on the moon. And then we look at that for the 2020s, we'll be in Earth-Moon orbit and our journey to Mars, we call it the Horizon Goal. The Horizon Goal to send people to Mars in the 2030s. First, we get to Mars orbit in the vicinity. We're both in Mars orbit right now, but we continue the exploration all through the 2020s with the robotic precursor missions. And then finally, boots on Mars in the 2030s with the first humans to step foot on the red planet. This time, we look at it in terms of we go, we land, but we live there. We do see a future where humans are interplanetary. So are you looking for India to be a partner in that mission? We sure are. So our journey to Mars, we'd like to lead it from NASA and the U.S., and we're looking for partners. And Israel would be a fantastic partner. We're here this week talking and discussing, and so we're open about that. And so now we have to think about what would be the best scientific payloads? What capability would India and Israel like to contribute to the journey to Mars? Now, is it possible that the first astronaut which goes to Mars could well be an Indian child who's still walking in India? It could be the, the Martian astronauts of the future or kids today. They're alive today. By the 2030s, the Martian astronauts. So we see it as global exploration. So I'm sure that there'll be an American, and I think there will be many other astronauts from all over the world as well. You also have joint satellite mission coming up called NISAR, where you're looking at imaging the Earth. Now, what does that do? NISAR is incredibly important. It's a wonderful partnership between ISRO and NASA really a true partnership. So it's a dual synthetic aperture radar. What that boils down to is penetrating radar to look at Earth observations. Really important for climate and climate change. It can see through the clouds. And it's dual, so 50% by NASA, 50% by, by the Indian Space Agency to come together in NISAR. And it will be launched from the Indian launcher. So, so now, now NASA is looking at Equal partnership with India and ISRO, is that, the, is that the way forward? Partnerships, exactly. Again, we think exploration is global, and so we're looking for partners around the world, and we're, we're here, and we're really proud of the success of the Indian Space Agency recently, and we just look forward to future successes. And so we do think about partnering on our journey to Mars, as well as back here on, 
here on Earth for Earth observations as well. And there's a great opportunity on the International Space Station for ISRO to conduct an experiment or join us, join us and the world's partnership we have on International Space Station. So you're inviting ISRO to be a partner on the International Space Station or asking them to put a simple experiment? Because the two mean very different things. Well, partnering, partnering and whatever step is appropriate for ISRO. We have 15 nations right now in partnership on International Space Station. It really is the world's incredible laboratory, the most sophisticated laboratory in orbit, in weightlessness, five major partners with Russia, the Europeans, Japanese, and the Canadian Space Agency along with NASA. And so we're saying to ISRO, what would be appropriate for you? Would you like to be on space station? You know, we have room for you to, so to demonstrate uh, some capability and it can be an Earth observation platform or thinking about the future of human space flight. What about human space flight? Can an Indian astronaut think, or is there a possibility of an Indian astronaut going to the International Space Station? Because in 1984, long ago, we had an Indian astronaut going on a Soyuz, the same thing which you used just now to go to low Earth orbit. So for an Indian astronaut and the Indian human space flight program as it emerges, the right space station will be in orbit till 2024. And the uh, partnerships right now of our five major partners, um, they contribute and the more they contribute then that results in the astronaut slots. So the astronaut slots are not available, is that, right is that now, the message? The, right now the astronaut slots are, are not available because India is not a partner on the International Space Station. But uh, the future uh, could be, and we also have our commercial crew coming up. So from American launches, we're going to start sending the NASA American astronauts to Space Station on uh, commercial vehicles in the United States. So that's our latest investment. So, so, so because India also has a human space flight program, they are developing the technologies. I have seen, you're a specialist on space suits. India has developed a spacesuit. I have personally seen it. Now, I haven't seen it yet. We we'll have to. <laughs> you have to show it to me. <laughs> Sometime soon, like this Chandrayaan one, I'm showing you here. You can see the suit. You can see the rocket. You can see many things. India is very open. You, in in this human space flight program, is NASA willing to partner with India, lead the hand in taking India forward in the human space flight program? We would love to work together in human spaceflight. The journey to Mars is to get humans to Mars. So we're definitely looking for, for partners, and we think India would be the best partner. So we sure hope that the human spaceflight aspirations of India become funded and become solid in the, in the years and the decades to come. President Barack Obama is a space buff, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is also a space buff. He, he looks at space very closely and looks at space as the final frontier. Do you have a personal message for Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Tell him thank you. The investments in Israel, the Indian Space Agency, and exploration in general are very important. They're important to humanity. They're important to all the young girls and boys out there who, who dream and aspire to explore, explore the solar system as well as explore here on Earth. And we need these investments in research and technology and dreams because I really think that is the future. Do you want to urge him that India take up human space flight? I think, I think India is taking up human space flight, but you can be bolder and we could go, go further. And please do join us on our journey to Mars. So that was the Deputy Administrator at NASA, Deva Newman, telling us India should join in the journey to Mars. With camera person Narendra Godavali in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.